already proposed to Tay anytime soon. <laughs> um, so I think uh, we said we was both gonna propose to each other. We did say that. And yeah, we, we talked about this other yeah, day. Yeah, we was just saying how like, no, 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 no. No! I will ask my future wife to marry me. I don't mind. She better not be on her knee, and I better not be on my knee, and we both just on our knees. Because at that point, just give me some head. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. What's going on, J Squad? Punk it's Squad, Jay. it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to my channel where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. If you are not 18, please skip this part of the video and please fast forward onto the reaction part of this video. But if you are over 18 and if you are maybe lonely single lesbian straight it don't even matter if you like to be pleased in the bedroom then you're gonna want to hear me out so listen before we get into this video i want to do some pillow talking with you guys yeah you're gonna enjoy this pillow talk this video is definitely sponsored in collaboration with asuga i think that's how you pronounce their company name it's basically a sex toy now before i get into this i just want to say it's so ironic how I got these products. Me and baby was actually not even having a conversation. She asked me, you know, do I have any sex toys? And I was like, no, I don't have any sex toys. And like a week and a half later, I got offered not just one, but two, two of them things, y'all. I got offered two sex toys and no cap. I've, I had to try it out, you know? I had to, cause you know, I'm very real. I'm very honest, so I had to, Try it out so I can let you know how it go when it goes. I only tried out one of them. I did not try out the second one. So let's get into the one that I did try. So if you are over 18, you guys, continue to watch this video. And by the end of this, I will have a $10 off promo code so that you can go get your luxury sex toys from Asuga. And if you are not 18, please, once again. I, I beg of you to fast forward this clip to the reaction video now. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to first talk about the G-Spa. It's, it's, it's the shit. This G-Spa toy is the shit, all right? It comes in a box like this, okay? It opens up like this. Oh, like even when I had opened this box, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, my toes was like this. My toes was... Like, oh girl, what we, mm, what we doing? My toes are just in my toe crack, just like how my knuckle was just cracking. But I was ready. But you guys, this is the G spot. The G spot, when I tell you, it's like your ick factor because it has a suction cup and it has a vibrator tail. Okay, I'm about to show you all of that. This is your vibrator tail, and then this is your suction cup. Now, if you know anything about sex toys, and you know. your way to go let's talk about the vibrator tail first the vibrator tail can be used as a inserter and it has different levels of the vibration okay i'm going to demonstrate all of that for you guys not that but yes that but not that but that see that be my problem can't get the motherfucker off i just be it's so many different levels of vibration but oh jesus what's so unique about the vibrator tell you guys it's shaped perfectly okay it's called the g spa for a reason okay because the tail when it's inserted it can actually touch your g spa and again you put on that that's just level one okay and that my friend is level two and that it's level three. And then you got that right there. Sheesh. So I'm pressing the buttons at the bottom. Um, this button here 
is to control the vibrator tail. This is to control the suction mount. As you press it, that's when it goes to the different levels. As you press it again, it'll go down the levels. And to turn it on or off, you just have to like long press hold it. This suction cup. This right here, this can, this, to womanize it. It's, you gotta be, you gotta be true to the game to be able to handle that right there. It's very quiet too. It's only sounding like that because it's allowing air in, but when it's covering, you hear how it suctions onto you. Yeah, they don't call it that for nothing. And it also has different levels. That's level two. That's level three, honey. And then it goes back down, right? I actually have tried this and i love it okay i freaking love it it definitely hits the spot you know i don't have to use it for too long i get in and i get out okay now let's go on to the cuddly bird that's what it's called so this here you guys again it's called the g spa now let's get into the cuddly bird and i have not used this yet so yeah, I open up the box and this is what's inside. So I've never even seen anything so bulky like this, but it's very unique. And what I love the most about this, you guys, it doesn't require batteries. Whether it's for the G-Spot or the Cuddly Bear, you do not need batteries. And I freaking love that. And you probably like, okay, well, Jay, how is they charged? Y'all, it comes with a charger, yeah. Let's talk about it, but I'm about to show you how this works. So if you live alone, if you don't have no kids, you can like just prop this on your nightstand. And when you just, you know what I'm saying? You just snatch it off. Comes with this nice bag, but hold on. Look, this motherfucker lights up and the color of the light indicates, you know, if it's being charged or if it's not being charged. But um, this little clear top comes off. Oh my God, it's so soft, you guys. And it also has a vibrator function, okay? Now this is the moonlight function, the part that you're seeing light up, that's the moonlight function. That's level three, like my fingers are tingling. That's how fast that thing go. And then it does like the pulse. And then the suction mouth. Don't worry, like, if when you're putting the suction mouth on to your Uchiwalawa Bang Bang and it don't fit, so you get, like, air in between it, do not worry about that, honey, because let me tell you something, that air coming through is still a great sensation, no feeling, okay? Now, if your Uchiwalawa Bang Bang do fit, you still winning. You can't lose with either one of these, you guys. I definitely recommend it. Like, if you're someone that wants like to try something new in the bedroom, if you and your partner are into sex toys, or even if it's just you yourself, and you know what I'm saying, the natural way, the hey girl natural way. Technology is winning nowadays. So it's it's time to give our hands a break, you guys. It's time to give our, our hands a break and let the cuddly bird sing itself in the G spot hit them G spots okay but I definitely recommend like I recommend you try it out that's all I'm gonna say this is like number one recommended so yeah if you ain't got this you need to go get it and I will give you the uh, code that you use to get your $10 off for your product that will be down below in the description so yeah enjoy the rest of this video What's going on, J-Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J-Vibes. Where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. In today's video, you guys, will be a reaction video, but you should already know that, all right? Now, this is about to be the littest video. And if it ain't the littest, it's about to be the realest big, big period. Okay, so the people have asked, and I am giving, okay? You ask and you shall receive. This is coming from, who is this? Court and Tay. I don't even know Court and Tay. I'm not even subscribed to them but you know i ain't no hating ass bitch so let me subscribe okay because you know i want people to subscribe to me and so you know if i i don't know how that goes if i want some i should treat those as i shall want to be treated right what right i, I don't know this video is uh, answering your juicy questions about our relationship. So this is a Q&A and this is a very recent video. Oh my God, they just put this out yesterday. Oh my God, they just put this out yesterday. 
Wow. Yeah, so I'm here, you guys. So let's get into this video. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. Now, I did make me something very delicious to eat. I made this on Cinco de Mayo, so I made this two days ago. You know, I'm good for some leftovers. It's called salsa chicken, or maybe it's called chicken salsa. I don't know. But what you do is, you get you some cream cheese, you put it at the bottom of the pan. You get some refried beans, you put that on top. You get you some salsa, don't put too much, put the sauce on top. Then, you're going to get you some chicken breast and sear it. You don't know how to sear chicken breast? All you do is season it with some um, some taco seasoning, put it in a skillet. Oh my God, what is that on my lip? Mm. Put it in a skillet and cook it on each side for like three to four minutes. That's searing it. Then you put that chicken breast on in the pan on top of the cream cheese, the refried beans, and the salsa. And then you layered it with some more salsa, some corn, some black beans, some cheese, whole lot of cheese. I put jalapenos, some scallions, bake it in the oven on 375 for 25 minutes. I put it over some white rice. I'm ready to eat. Let me say my prayers, God, Father God. Thank you. Amen. Let's get into this video, you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Like this video. Comment down below. Share my content. Make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications. And let's get it. Let's go. Big vibes. Big period. You already know the fuck going on. Okay. Food makes me happy. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I know a big question that a lot of people was asking from part one and part two. Who for and who take? If we were still in contact with Shorty. You know what I'm saying? And who? You ready? Hmm. What's happening? Court. Tay. Okay. So whack as well. Court and Tay. Still love him. Cause he's too close to me. I ain't too close. This is why I'm finna be. <laughs> no, you skin. No, I'm here. No, you niggas go over. What's up, y'all? It's Court. Come in. <laughs> Scoot your ass over. So, hey guys, this is Tay. Court. So y'all know we're back with another video. Here. Today's video, we actually gonna do a Q and A. So, so goddamn, y'all asked us some questions about just ourselves, our relationship, some from part one and two of us. Right. Our... Don't ask me. Don't even ask me. Don't even fucking. Don't you ask me to to react to part one and part two. Do you not know that shit is an hour long? You don't care. You still gonna ask me. But you got to get this video to like 5k. You get this video to 5k and I will react to part one. That's just part one. But go ahead, Corden Tay. Story time, so we gonna yeah. pretty much just answer a couple of them just so y'all can get to know us a little bit more. Make sure y'all turn our post notifications on because that's gonna help you to know when we post a new video and also when we do a lot of posting in our community posts because that's where we ask these questions at. So y'all can go check those questions there because that's where we got most of them from. Well, she got hers from her Instagram. I got mine from the community posts. I know I got some of mine from also the comments. Um, some of y'all dropped some comments, some questions in the comments from my videos. So. Oh, yeah, you, you went back? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Believe it. Yeah. So, um, basically, to start off, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of background on ourselves first. So, I was going to say, I feel like a lot of people are over here from her and from me, I feel like, but at the same time, um, we just want to give a little background on. A lot of new beef. Yeah, people who don't really know us and what we do and kind of. No, 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 slight info on us. So, a little bit of background on me is that, you know, my name is Tay. Of course, I'm 28 years old. I'm from the DMV, but preferably from Maryland. And I am a Libra. A lot of people want to know that. And I don't have any kids at all. <laughs> I'm Court. I'm 26. I'm from Folkston, Georgia. I do not have any kids either. Um, I'm say you had kids. Yeah, they did that because you got me. <laughs> I ain't got no kids, man. I don't really get into that whole sign thing because, to be honest, I just don't. I don't see how you can tell somebody how they built and how they set up. She's by. a Taurus. <laughs> She's a Taurus. She don't really get into the signs. I'm very spiritual. I just spiritual. feel She's like right. I don't know how you can tell somebody how they built because of when they born. Like, you can't tell me I'm like this person over here because they were born, man. But either way, she's a Taurus, I'm a Libra. I'm a Taurus. So, yes, she's okay. a Taurus, I'm a Libra. So that's our dynamic. And if you look that up, like, it'll let you know a lot about our relationship, honestly. Because it'll tell you about, like, the Taurus and Libra compatibility. And so, you know, I don't let you know. But she don't believe that shit. But I do. I've been getting into it. I don't got too much to say about Tauruses, but you gotta watch. You really gotta watch them. That's all I want to say. But a little bit more because she into it, so I try to be open to you know the things that yes, she. Yes, being did. open. Okay, okay home. <laughs> so let's get into these questions. I have a bunch of questions. So, 
Um, I don't know if we're gonna, well, we're not gonna get to all of them because there's so many of them. So I guess I'll go first and then you go first. I mean, I'll go and then you'll go. You wanna ask me a question or I'm gonna ask you a question? I guess we can do it either way. Like, it don't have to be too, like, you know. Oh, if it's just like a general question, we can both just ask. Yeah. All right, go ahead. You got your phone ready? Yeah. You don't have to when you ready, though. I'm ready, but I, don't, I know something in my head. She thinks she know. Okay. A question out the gate said, do y'all scissor? <laughs> That's what they want. They want nothing to do with scissors. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It don't be like this. No, we don't. You know, some people be like, they think it's scissors and they think it be like this. Yeah, we got to do it different ways because the way her body, body is, set is set up. up. But with me, I talk, talk about it, babe. For real. You only like it in certain positions. I can scissor pretty much like it. And she like it like this. I like it when she No, it be like this. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, but with me, I can bring my scissors anyway. She got to be so specific. Okay. That's the way I like it. Mm -hmm. I like this Q&A. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. How did you know the other person was the one for you? Uh -huh. How do you know I'm the one for you? Um, I feel like I knew she was the one for me. I think we broke up. I feel like before we broke up, I had a feeling that she was like my person. But you know, that's that typical, I'm in a relationship, I feel like that person is my person. Yeah. I feel like when we broke up, and just how much I was drawn to her, even when she was rejecting me, and she was, she had this like, block up, and I still was trying to press through it, I knew that, that she was the one for me. Because I typically, I, like I do get my feelings when I get out of a relationship where me and someone's connection is broken, yeah. of course. But I feel like with her, I was so like, adamant on it. Yeah. Even when you didn't see it, I still seen it. I'm like, what the fuck? I really started second guessing myself. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, why am I so drawn to somebody that's not drawn to me? But Talk about um, it, I think that's when I knew. And then I think when I first certain knew is when I left Turkey. That's mm -hmm. when I knew. So I feel like I knew when I tried to move on and I moved on, Ooh. and I feel like that ain't tried and did. seemed perfect. Like with that new person that I was with. And I feel like everything kind of just seemed like right. And then it's like when you got back around me, it's like it ain't matter that that situation was in a sense an ideal situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like it was just something in my chest just was like, nah, like you're the one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's, that's kind of when I knew, which was when I left L.A. That was crazy. I don't know that. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. The truth, okay. <laughs> uh, Well, Courtney proposed to Tay anytime, so. <laughs> um, so I think uh, we said we was both going to propose to each other. We did say that. And, and we, we talked about this other Yeah, night. and we was just saying how, like. No, 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 no. No! That might sound real cute. But no! No! I feel like when somebody is trying to propose, I'm sorry, not trying, but when somebody proposes to somebody, you know what I'm saying? It ain't supposed to be, how both of y'all gonna be on y'all knee? Maybe it's happened before, maybe it's not. But for both of y'all to be proposing to one another, no, 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 no. No. Hell no. Shit, we don't really want to put like... It's just whenever you feel it, right? Yeah, I don't want to put it like, of course she's more masculine than me, so, but then they were both still females, and you can tell like. Well, yeah, now I wasn't saying that Tay couldn't propose to Court because Court is obviously mas masculine. No, I wasn't saying that. I'm saying for both of them to be on their knee at the same time trying to propose to each other. No, does Tay see herself proposing to Court? Obviously, yes, and that's fine. Do court see her set proposing to Tay? Obviously, yes. And that's fine. But they both better not be on their knee at the same time. That's all I'm saying. I will ask my future wife to marry me. I don't mind. But she better not be on her knee. And I better not be on my knee. And we both just on our knees. Because at that point, just give me some head. I kind of wear my heart on my sleeve. So I don't really. I'm not going to. If I feel like I'm ready to marry her, I'm not going to wait. And be like, I'm waiting on you to ask yeah. me or show Leaving hints. Like, I feel like to me, if I'm going to leave hints and do all that, I might as well do it myself. You know what I'm saying? So Don't I get like embarrassed. If I propose to her, I'm going to propose to her. But we was talking about it saying we would both do it in a sense because, for example, let's say she did propose to me. 
And, you know, of course, I'm going to be happy with that and this and this, but at the end of the day, she's still female. So I would... I would be a princess, too. Yeah, I would feel the need, even if we're engaged, that I would propose back to her. It wouldn't have to be like, oh, my God, you're proposing, but it's one of them things where like, I'm giving her that same... No! No! Hell no! First of all, okay, I get it. Of course, a princess. She want to be a princess, okay? She's in tune into her feminine way. So, yeah, she wants... That's probably something that she wants. She wants someone to propose to her. But for you to propose to somebody and you want them to come back and propose to you, like, come, like, what? What damn sense does that make? Just both of y'all wear dresses at the wedding and call it even. Both of y'all can be princesses and queens. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Somebody proposed to me. I'm not coming to you tomorrow, next week, next month, right before the wedding to propose. I'm not doing that. You, It's an either or. Either, either you proposing to me or I am proposing to you. And this don't even need to be a conversation. Like, this is not a conversation. Like, of course, marriage is a conversation. But as far as, okay, who gonna propose first, that's not a conversation. I feel like when y'all have the conversation about marriage, if y'all both on the same page, okay, Okay, I sound real country. Okay then, 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 then. But no. Same energy that she gave me back in return. I wanted to be. Oh my gosh, you proposed. That's how. No, I'm saying it won't be. Oh my gosh, because we will already be engaged. I'ma still feel. Oh my god. Oh okay. Well yeah, feel. Oh my god. But like either way, if she proposed to me, I proposed to her. That the other one's gonna get it in return. Oh, sometime yeah. between. Sometime before the wedding. It's just all about us both getting that experience. Like we both deserve to yeah. have the experience yeah. of being proposed to. Okay. Her. So, so that's like definitely. Um. So I'm not gonna put it on her. But I mean shoot, the way I've been feeling, I mean it might come soon because now she got me up in the clouds. That good energy. Okay. So somebody gonna add do we strap. strap you to. I said I said strap. I, strap her. I knew it. <laughs> I knew okay, it. Okay, I strapped her before. okay, she strapped. Don't say this shit, bro, because you gonna try to make it seem like you just be knocking me down on the regular. So I told I you. <laughs> nah, okay. Why are you doing me like nah, that? Look, I see you getting excited. I'm excited because I, okay, so let me tell you the truth. She strapped me before quite a bit of times, but I have strapped her before. I she strapped, strapped me one time, and it was because she wanted to do it so bad. She said all the other females she dealt with was so like they was either straight up virgins, never had sex with niggas before, or they just was like, yeah. 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 So I was like, I want to try it, and she's so open, so she let me. Like, I was knocking like, the walls down, baby. I was, I was holding her down, and honestly, I was giving great energy until she stopped talking about you need to calm down, get off. You know what you want. She was like, started get off. Yeah, I started I'm like, all right, now I don't let you try this shit. Now stop. But I. So somebody said we into that poly shit. Would we consider doing poly with a stud? Of course I would. <laughs> I don't you don't know. want two stud girlfriends? Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Y'all both strapping the shit out of me. What the fuck? Y'all even have. To I'm not a uh, poly person. Poly probably the fuck never not gonna be. No, I don't know. If we just doing some shit for fun, cool. But bitch, if you mind, if you think I'm about to share you with somebody else, even just for the moment of time, you got me fucked up. I'm very selfish when it comes to me and mine. No. No, I cannot lay there, sit there, stand there, be there, watch her okay get pleased by my woman no hell no no nope 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 i can't do it i'm not doing it i'm never gonna do it okay i'm not i can't do that sorry sorry i'm just not i'm just not with that shit i'm just not what does the bible say the bible never said two and a third it said one and one it never said it jesus never said it i touch each other y'all can put it out for i'm getting like what what? So how is that appeasing to me? 
But you already live vicariously through your situation. I feel like you saying probably like I would do it for certain. Or you saying, what is on your face? You saying, you saying poly as in for I'm saying like if you had to get two girlfriends, you want two stud girlfriends? But we're I'm not gonna touch each other. We're not gonna touch each other. So that's literally y'all just got one too, but y'all don't have to. I feel like with me, I'm attracted to studs. Yes, feminine females are like a turn on sexually, but let's just be honest, cause I like studs. So I wouldn't have how much one of those. I feel like it's low to it. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna. I feel like to me, a female is a female. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't want no female. You can no tell she from Georgia. They don't like me. That's like as masculine as me. So you would do a stem, but not a stud. I definitely do a stem. I even maybe can do. I even maybe can do a stud with him. I can't do no goddamn. Uh, I can't do no goddamn balls. Like I can't do a bit that got a lot. So you saying that it's a no? What? It was asking, and you didn't give it. I feel like no. I feel like I could do a stem for sure. I feel like if it's a stem, and she kind of more masculine, but she still got like that. Stimmy type of vibe. Like I feel like with me, when I had my inches, I feel like I would have dated myself. Cause I still talk the same way. I still carry myself the same she way. Was fine it was just way. I had the long hair. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's for me more the look. Cause I just feel like I still have to be attracted to them. I don't really care about their personality. Cause I feel like their personality can be masculine. Uh -huh. Their personality can be all of that shit. It's just when I look at you, I want to still feel like I'm dating two girls. Okay, well, I feel like that's, I mean, that's understandable. I feel like with me being feminine, though, you know, it's different. I can pretty much be attracted to a feminine female. I can be attracted to studs. Of course, I'm more attracted to studs, but. But I feel like I'm just so stuck on the fact. So you don't want two niggas around here with lineups and shit just knocking your walls in. I told you. What the fuck I'm supposed to do with that? What I'm supposed to do with that? What I'm supposed to do, nigga? You, what you mean? But you attracted to feminine females. I'm attracted to no studs. I'm not really that attracted to feminine females on that type of level. I feel like I look at a female and be like, well, she's pretty. So I'm going to be turned on by me kissing another stud? Who, me? Yeah. If me and another stud are getting busy, that would turn you on? Because you and another feminine female, that shit turns me on. Oh, it turns you? Yes, it like... Ooh, I, don't like think I, that. I don't think I want to see y'all kids. That's my point. So how are we going to do poly if... Like, it would literally be on some, like, we just cater to you, and this is just my home one, or my home. Or she on some, um, what's that show? Coming back to America t type shit? She on something else right now. She on some, uh, Fifty Shades of Tay. Watch out. <laughs> y'all is just into it. Would y'all have another threesome? So, yeah. So. We would. Show me. So that was pretty easy. <laughs> um, why were you guys in the talking stage for so long before becoming official last time? Um, I, uh, I feel like it was because I, when I talk to people, I don't never pressure them to do anything. So I feel like with me, I was going on the flow. If she had asked me, she asked. If she didn't, she didn't. I didn't. And then I feel like to, yeah, it didn't really matter to me. I didn't really care. <laughs> last time. Yeah. I mean, what do you feel? I feel like I. I be, I be wanting to really get to know somebody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that was like always a big thing for me. Like, it's crazy because I always would give myself like this nine month rule, like having a baby. Mm -hmm. So it's like by nine months, by the time when I had a baby, I, I pretty much need to know if I want to be with you or not be with you. Mm -hmm. So. Is that a thing? Like, is that a thing? Like, is, is that for real? Like, do niggas really like, what? Nine month rule. Is that a thing? Granted, I kind of feel like, Tay, you either ask, you either ask or you don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to push nobody to just put a title on something. But in the same breath, if you think that I'm about to longevity, be doing what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, the way I'm doing it, how I'm giving it up, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 like it's it's it really do depend on the person. It depend on the person because like you know shit. Let's talk about it. Been there, done that, right? 
I was communicating with this girl and we never even established that we were getting to know each other to me or for me we were just you know fucking on each other but it was about to like literally almost be a year and I'm like yo what the fuck are we doing like because I've asked her that and I never got an answer and it was kind of like oh you think I'm stupid like I know I'm crazy but you think I'm stupid like, you think I'm crazy and stupid. Oh, you think I'm crazy, stupid, and naive. Oh, you think I'm about to... Yeah, no. I had to cut that shit off because... Girl, what what do you want? Because at this point, like, the sex is good, but it ain't great. You know? So I had to cut her... I had to cut her off. Yeah, I'm talking about her. Mm-hmm. Talking about her chocolate drop. Yeah, mm-hmm. Had to cut chocolate drop the fuck off. I did. And I did. And I did. And I sure the fuck did. And that's all we're going to talk about it. I don't know. Like, I just honestly feel like it depends on the person. Because, like, not to compare it anyone. But people communicate differently. People go about getting to know you differently. People will keep you a secret. Some people will, won't keep you a secret. But, you know what I'm saying? They'll have you around the people that mean the most to them. Or... Um, I don't know. Some people are not in reverse. Some people are not pressed. Some people don't. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of levels, a lot of in and outs, a lot of holes, a lot of lights, closet doors. It's a lot. Screws. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But I just will say, you know what I'm saying? It definitely depends on the person. I just want to say that. It depends on the person because if you and that person have an understanding of what y'all doing and what y'all got going on, then you know what I'm saying? Cool. But if you at any moment is unsure of what you're doing with who you're doing it with like you know that y'all having sex but you don't know why y'all having so much sex you don't know why you know what i'm saying y'all communicate you don't know why y'all don't communicate when you just don't know stuff i think that's when it's a problem i feel like if you can ask your ask yourself questions and you know the answer like are we together no but is this do this is this person feeling me yes do this person really like me yes is this person wasting my time? No. Do me and this person communicate a lot? Yes. Do I know stuff about this person? Yes. Have I met... You know what I'm saying? If you can answer questions, then you obviously doing something. But when you can't answer questions like, what are we doing? I don't know. Does this person really, really like me? I don't know. Do I really know this person? I don't know. When it starts to get like that, yeah, no. You 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 wasting your time, man. I don't know, if, I don't know what you over there doing. I meant to show y'all my plate too, but the chicken is gone. Back to the video. I feel like I um. No, I've been well over nine months. So what you said, no? No, I feel like I knew, but I feel like I was just going with the flow too. Yes, yeah, going with the flow. Yeah, you know I'm saying? saying I feel like this is one of the things where like we started moving like it. Like it wasn't like I was talking. To, well, I wasn't talking to other people. Is you trying to be shady? I wasn't talking to other people either. I wasn't being shady. Okay. Yeah, well, shady. we wasn't talking to other people. I feel like we had already had business together. We was damn near together all the time. So, to me, I think it didn't even cross my mind. Yeah, I feel like I wasn't. Yeah, I feel like yeah. we were moving like we were together. So, so I don't think we was like so pressed. It wasn't like I need you to do this. Like, literally everything. I'm not going to say it was perfect because, you know, we had issues. But it was like, it was just like, like cool. Like, like, it was cool. So, I didn't feel the need to be like, shit, that's my real girlfriend. Like, I never even did that. Show, show. Mm -hmm. Okay, so somebody else said that they would we consider doing poly again? Yeah. Did they already ask that? Depending on the circumstance. She would be going to the show, but I don't want to. Who? You. Why would you going to the show? That's the spell you were talking about earlier. Oh, okay. So basically, um, we with the with the two videos, a lot of people was commenting saying they don't think take a do poly, they don't think take a do poly, they don't think take a do poly. Um. And I feel like a lot of people lost lost the context of how she was feeling throughout that time, if, if that makes sense. I think when you get so caught up in the story that at times what was lost in the midst of us telling the story was that she still felt a way about me lying and not telling her the full truth I didn't about trust her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think that was lost in, for example, the, the club situation, right? Like, where she would start spazzing or when she seen a girl grab me and was like, I feel like a lot of that, like, was rooted from the fact of, like, 
she didn't really trust me because I had not told her the full truth. Um, and then us just getting back together. Yeah, I feel like that um, with that story, you got to think about it. Like, we kind of kept it black and white of just telling a story. And we told about our emotions, but we really didn't tell about our emotions. And let's not to be shady, but y'all don't really know us like that. Like, y'all know us, but y'all don't. And I feel like in our last relationship, the first one, even though we had so many issues. Oh, my I God. Never, I'm just, I'm kind of. Ooh, I'm just confused, and I feel like, you know what I'm saying, maybe some of uh, the reason why I'm confused, or the, I don't know, shit, I'm confusing myself, talking to myself, talking to y'all. Obviously, they're speaking on something that I haven't watched, so that's why I'm confused. That's just obvious. That's all I'm gonna say, because if I say anything else, I'm gonna be even more confused. I had a problem with trusting her. Like, I had to pass her to her phone, I'd go on her phone anytime I want to, like, uh, she had had so many people that she's had three, not even put you but threesomes, foursomes, and that she's friends with them now, genuinely friends. And I've literally been around them, had no issues of being insecure about that. Right. Um, a lot of her friends is feminine females, and I don't care about that. I feel like my issue with this situation was that it was she had lied, and then on top of that, this is the person she lied about, and then this is the person that she actually was talking to during the duration we wasn't talking. Mm -hmm. So I feel like all those things came in a factor of why I felt some type of way, because if we go back to our original relationship, if we had did, quote unquote, a poly, give or take, I am very, like, not a jealous, but like, I am jealous sometimes of, you know, but I feel like it's never to the point where I can't coexist with someone yeah, else. I feel like, I feel like and I think that's what people was kind of like, oh my God, like, how the fuck would Taylor be able to do this? But you gotta think about it, like, with that, literally within that week, I had just found out that she's talking to another female, she lied about the other female, and this is the female she talked to the whole time, and then the female's in my face. I feel like, honestly, a lot of people look at it, like, look mm -hmm. at looked at you like you was being possessive or tripping and all these other things, and I feel like, honestly, like, I, I, I like, even though I got slept, I really appreciate how you handled that situation, because I feel like a lot of people, one, would have just dubbed me. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be honest. Like, they want to cancel that, it in? Yeah, like, in that situation, I feel like she really did put her emotions on the back end. And I think once that liquor did get in you, I couldn't help it. Shit, it was like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it went love, yeah. But I think the fact that you was able to keep your composure and still do the event, still do an amazing job, still just be there for me. And just keep your mind open to even being around Shorty or doing yeah. some of the shit that we did with her. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the midst of, my nigga, everybody know that your personality is super dominant. You don't want nobody to feel like they can have, take, whatever. Yeah. That's yours. And I feel like the fact that that turkey situation played out the way it did, and then for me to bounce back around, for you to let me back in your space, for me to lie, for you to... <sighs> You know, this this is this is just a lot of back going back, dealing with stuff that's from the back end, the past, and I I'm I'm not a I'm not that type of person. I don't like dealing with certain stuff when it comes to my past, for real. Especially in their situation, like I don't know how many times they done broke up, but. You know, some people do go back to each other and it work out. But damn, what if you go back to that person and it don't work out? That is some crazy shit. And I just, I don't know. I just feel like anything that I ever get myself into is always longevity. Let me not say longevity. It's always long. Because longevity, I haven't reached longevity. I've just been in some long situationships. Okay? But I really feel like I wasted 10 years of my life. Like, being loyal being honest, being true, trying to be, you know what I'm saying, the ride or die that I know that's in my body, heart, and soul, and just, I just had a holy ghost, I'm sorry, <laughs> but, um, nah, like, I just really feel like I, I wasted 10 years, and not just on one person, you know, five years each, five years with this person, five years with that person, and so it's just kind of like, yo, I'm motherfucking tired. I'm tired. And what I'm not going to do, if I wasted, if I wasted half a decade with your ass, you think I'm about to go back? You think I'm about to go back? You really think I'm about to go back? You think I'm about to go back, though? You think we about, you think we about to go back? You think we're going to try it again? Man, hell no. And was the five years, like, consistently, like, straight? No. We broke up, and then I was going back. 
And that's why my ass wasted half of a... I wasted a decade on these whores. They doing a lot of going back. And people that she's messed with, had threesomes with, foursomes with. You know what I'm saying? She's still friends with and they're still around. It's just too, it's too many people in this world. I don't know. I've just never been a person to, uh, been pressed about keeping anybody around. Saving them for a booty call. I don't know. Make it make sense. Forgive me in the midst of a week. Yeah. To still be back around me. I just feel like a lot of that got lost in us telling the story because the story was so, so entertaining and crazy. But, I mean, I just want you to know that I ain't forget that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like that's why a lot of the things that she did want me to do, I was going to do. When she said, stop shooting your location, damn right I would stop shooting my location. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, at the end of the day, I'm still in the doghouse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm living this fantasy, yeah, but it's like, I'm still in the doghouse. And I really feel like you really handled yourself well outside of, obviously, you overthinking it and yeah. all this other shit. But it's like... Yeah. And you human, and the fact that all of that shit transpired in a matter of a week, and you was able to still come pull up and do all the shit that you did. Yeah, because I feel like, I love you, girl. I love you, too. <laughs> My girl. But I feel like, it's just so much. Like, I don't think y'all understand, like, I don't really have to step outside of myself. Because my personality is never was aligned with nothing like that. Yeah, so, sure. I'm glad she said that, because that's the truth. Because I would love yeah. to get to it. Yeah, nah, for sure, for sure. It's so easy to judge, man. Like... Y'all need to stop that shit because we out here putting all our shit out. You know what I'm saying? And obviously we get it. It come with the territory when you put your bitch yeah. out there. Niggas gonna have their opinions. But goddamn, my mama always told me don't sweep in front of somebody else's doorstep when your shit ain't together either. Okay. We be Girl, where your mama at? I'm trying to meet your mama because your mama know what the fuck she talking about, okay? I'm never here to judge nobody. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, personally just letting you know how I feel about the situation. What I do, could I not do it, how I think on it. You know what I'm saying, period. This is what a reaction video is. I don't understand how when people be looking at me. Now, the only person now I'm going to say I was ever judging, I wasn't even judging. Let me just, no, 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 take that back. I wasn't even judging Kiana, okay? I peeped. I peeped her vibe and her vibe. Been, was peaked by everybody else and what i seen is what everybody else was seeing that's what the it was you know what i'm saying so i'm not here judging them because they like to have a relationship with other people here lola and moni it's moni right moni lola and moni they do the same thing and i don't judge them you know what i'm saying i'm not here judging them neither i'm just letting you know like look i can't do it this is why i can't do it this is how i feel on it this is why i don't do it so, yeah, everybody's different. Everybody live their life. I feel like judging somebody will be like, you know, putting them down and talking very negative on what they're doing. Like, basically talking shit. And I'm not here to talk shit. So, yeah. I'm new to this whole Courtney and Tay YouTube channel. And, um, yeah, they've been together before and they coming back together. You know, I wish, I wish them the best. I really do wish them the best. I just personally, I just, I can't do it. Just based off what I've been through, I can never go back to somebody that I was with for five years. I cannot do it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. It's, it's draining. I can't do it. Mm -mm. Oh, we be honest and shit. That's how we all ain't gonna be. You know what I'm saying? It was saying? Like frustrating. And I feel like us telling that story, I even told her, like, that wasn't really an easy, like, give or take, we was laughing and giggling, and I'm kind of low-key working past it, but so. that was not really easy to put that out there to let people know what my nigga did. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not gonna come in here and just be like, oh, hey, we started a channel, like, let's start doing pranks, this, that, and this, that, and yeah. we ain't even tell y'all what the fuck happened. Like, that shit just mad weird to me. So, even though it was very uncomfortable. And that shit corny, man. Like, yeah, I feel like at the end the of the day, shit, this our truth. So, we gonna yeah. goddamn walk in this shit. This just what it is. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn it, I got, she forgave me. She, she still forgiving me. This shit ain't no easy thing. Like, yeah, you know what I'm like saying? It's all forgotten. Like, yeah, we still I'm, have conversations. Yeah, and I'm still trying to regain her trust, work on our foundation, build our foundation. Yeah. You know I'm saying so it's like shit I'm trying my best to do. honey I'm trying my best I'm trying so, my best I'm, that's all we can do for sure for sure that's all so girl it's that who stepped in and made the first move I feel like Court did. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on her because oh shit, Tay did. She me. I was so crazy. God damn. And I don't know why I was pressed over her because she is. She was never my type. Like the type of female I would normally go for, she was just so opposite. So when I was like, damn, this thing got me fainting. Let me try to get these digits. But no, I was just watching her on YouTube all the time. So I'm like, oh, she kind of fine. So then I was in. I slid her DM, you know. 
You might get a little backdrop on that because you told me okay. on YouTube. Okay. Like, I'm goddamn happy. Let, let me fuck. give it. Let me give it. Okay, so basically, her and her ex had a channel together. Um, so my friend literally. Should we tell them the whole story time I've met, or should we just tell them? I'm gonna do a little bit. So basically, my friend was like, oh. This is why they videos be an hour long and 30 minutes long. And they just go on and on. And it ain't no short story. It's a story after. N these niggas is asking questions. They coming back with stories. Is that how the Q and A? No, it's Q and A. It's not Q and story. It's not question and story time. It's question and an answer. Question and an answer. Keep it moving. Question. This is why they can't get to all y'all questions because they doing story times. Shit. Go ahead, Terry, because I'm listening, girl, because I want to know. Because I didn't think that you made the first move. I thought Court did. Um, I haven't seen this. I know this basketball player. Like, her ass is not know her, but, like, know of her. And she's like, y'all kind of got the same personality. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Because I don't watch no basketball or nothing like that. So I go on the YouTube scene. I'm like, damn, I'm kind of feeling for shorty. Like, she's so fine. And then I felt like when she was talking, the way she was moving. And she had bundles at the time. My shit was long. She had her little, you know, she was hanging. Yeah, I thought she was nice. shit about it. She was just like, hey, come be in this video. I'm like, okay. I ain't know the login. I ain't know the password. I ain't know none of that shit about it. I basically was like, look, this is your thing. Whenever you need me, I'll come in. But as far as any of that shit, I wasn't involved at all. Right. At all. So when she was like, who is this girl? She a YouTube. I'm like, shit, me? I don't know. Like, I don't know about no YouTube. Okay. I don't know about this girl. So then I was just like, um, she, she, she tried me. So basically, she know my comments. No shit, y'all. Alright, y'all. Sorry. I had got a phone call in the middle of me recording. But I'm just pick back up wherever I stopped at. I'm trying to do better. But I don't never really answer my comments, babe. So then she comment on my photos. And I only comment back to her. You Remember? did some funny shit. And then I was like, yo, you funny as shit. Well, I said something like that. Yeah. And then she ain't gonna comment. So, and I was just like, oh shit. I was like, oh, I'll see you. You over here. <laughs> so then I like would... Occasionally, no, I I comment on my story, but she would like comment back, but it was never no. And then they broke up, and once they broke up, I was like, yes. And I said, hey, what you doing? It was late night, my time. And then kind of, was, I was being dry. She was being dry, but I was like, she was so bad. She was like, when I went back and read the messages, you was being dry. Girl, I was and unsent them, but she was so mad because she was like, those are hard. I was like, them the memories of how we got going. When you Baby, come like, nah, you was being dry as fuck with me, and I was just being so fresh trying to keep the conversation going. Uh -huh. And then after that, literally, we just was friends for a year. We was friends for like a year. Yeah. So that's how I'm sorry. It was so sure. It's your turn, baby daddy. They say, can we have some fun for one night? And you know what type of fun I mean. What she look like? <laughs> <laughs> no, because y'all really been trying to do this little, they be like trying to, y'all been trying to threesome us now. I'm like, damn. Yeah, other day. Nah, but somebody said, when are you guys going to have kids? And when you do, how many are you having? Oh, that's a big question. You don't let them know? Yeah, so basically, we, um, we're um we going to start planning next year. I thought we started doing it next year. You said planning or doing it? Planning. Planning or doing oh, it? Because we're going to plan. Planning. Oh, planning. 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 Yeah. <laughs> She's fresh. Yeah, and I want five. She want five, and then we're gonna start next year. I want five babies. We're gonna start having these babies next year. Five. Mm. Yeah. Can y'all picture me as a mom? Can y'all picture me as a mom? We can see you as a mommy because you give grandma now. But <laughs> can y'all see me as a mommy? Nah, man, my dress gonna be dressed just like me on God. My dress gonna be just like me. I swear to God, our friend is gonna be in the infant little girl. Her name gonna be Courtney, Courtney Monet Williams Jr. Courtney Jr. Courtney Monet Williams Jr. Her nickname gonna be 
CJ. <laughs> they cute as fuck. So I'm excited though, no cap, man. I'm excited, man. I'm about to be 27 and I'm ready. Like, I feel like I done hung up my jerseys. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm really off for that whole shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have my little fun. Yeah, I love that energy. Hold on, I feel like me and my lady getting old. And you know, I, the older you get, you, we gotta start talking about health and shit like that. And I'm health as well, so I want my lady Period. to be able to be outside playing with the baby. Yeah, I'm trying to duck, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what the fuck? I want us to be tapped in into them, be able to do my jit like, ma, I want to go outside and run. Okay, yeah, we're going with you. We're about to go run. You feel me? Okay. Someone said, have you officially moved to Georgia, and are you going to be moving with Courtney? Um, I've not officially moved to Georgia. I was supposed to move to Georgia. Before we tapped in, I was supposed to move to Georgia anyway, so I am moving to Georgia. Sure. And... You might as well kind of say we live together, but we don't live really together. I still have my place in LA, but you know, I just be at her. I'll be at her house for like months. <laughs> so, but we about to get a house though. We about yeah. to get a big house. Okay, so somebody asked, are we still in contact with Shorty? Um, Who is Shorty? So I tried to talk to her a couple times after everything transpired when she left, and um, the conversation was cool, but shit after. I don't know. She oh, so you from the video. strip club? <laughs> she blocked me. Um, with me, she reached out to me, and then I wasn't in a place to reach back out, and then I reached back out to her, and then it's kind of just that. Like, that was it. It wasn't no more, no less. But yeah, so we ain't really talking. She talk. her. Yeah, the girl, she, she blocked me, shit. <laughs>
But that's what I love. Really it's so sad. But she don't be in the song that she really I think. I think. This pussy be having her fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, for me, it's. I, I don't know the timing on it, but I think just listening to you and trying to understand the deepness of a soul talk, I think for me, it had to be when everything was telling me not to deal with you. The fact that we wasn't getting along, the fact that like, it just seemed like we was always beefing, we was just always not on the same page. So everything in my being, in my mind, like everything was just like, yo, like, just let this girl go by her goddamn business. Mm -hmm. But when that one little sprinkle of hope got them, got sprinkled, it's like, oh no, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I don't really understand, but in her past relationships and what she's explained to me, when a situation is not working, she just kind of about my business. She don't do no back and forth. Like I'm her first ex that she's actually spun a block on. Oh, okay. Yeah, and actually got back back together. Shit. Yeah, it's yeah. been a block. So I feel like that's kind of OT. OT, Because I know it's my pussy. Where you gonna get a lip bitch that got a little pussy and a boss at the same time? Like, that's a big combo. <laughs> Early is, though. Um, come every day. Yeah. And then I'm still, I'm still down to earth, I feel like. So, you know. You funny as shit. Mm -hmm. I'm hilarious. You funny as I'm shit. I'm a comedian. Mm -hmm. You love cash. I already know. Okay. Sorry, right, man. So, appreciate y'all listening. Hi, right, y'all. This was definitely a good video, you know what I'm saying? Um... I like videos like this where I can get to know other people, whether it's individually or as a couple, you know what I'm saying, just to see how other people interact with each other, see how they really think, and see what's really going out here in the world, because you'll be surprised. You'll be thinking people out here that's like, no, I like my bitch to myself. A lot of the motherfuckers out here like to be sharing, and I just don't know. I can't, I can't do it. Maybe I shouldn't knock it until I try it. I don't know, y'all. I just don't see myself looking at my bitch pleasing another bitch. Will it turn me on? Yeah. I ain't gonna say it's not. I just don't know. I just don't know. Because I don't know that whole situation, but don't let my bitch be lying to me about this bitch. And then, oh my God. Somebody gonna be in jail. I just and I can't go back to jail, so I don't know who's gonna be in jail, but I can't go back, so they gonna have to choose. And I don't want my bitch to go to jail, but at the same time, like how you my bitch and you lying, so it's kind of like, bitch, you gotta go to jail, not me, but the bitch, she gotta go to jail. But then what if my bitch is sad that she went to jail? Then oh my god, I'm in jail because you said about the bitch that went to jail. Now we both in jail. Now who you got? Now who you gonna come see? Okay, I'm going too deep. Anywho, you guys, I definitely did like this video. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I've definitely got to go comment in the comment section because this video is very new, very fresh. So I hope to see some new subscribers come to my channel um, and vice versa. I hope that some of you guys, if you don't know nothing about Tay and Court, that you go check them out. Go watch that hour video and tell me because if y'all don't get this video to 5K by tomorrow, oh, Tay, and I ain't going to put that much pressure on you because I don't... I don't I don't say I be doubting y'all, but I just, I just don't know what you can do. But yeah, you get this video to 5K, like, you know what I'm saying, before, what's the day, the 7th? I'll give you three days. I'll give you three days. Get this video to 5K in three days, and I'll definitely react to part one. We'll talk about part two and part one, but just let's just get to part one first. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Like this video. If you liked it, like it. If you like this video, then why not give this video a thumbs up, a like. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications. Comment down below when you scroll it down to check out the links in the description. I hope that made sense to you because it made sense to me. Share my content. I love you guys. I'll be blessed. Stay clean. I am signing on to the next video. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. It catch you slipping. Best belief, I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my hoe. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on. And I'm at this bitch.